female yellow perch reach sexual maturity by the end of their second year of life, and males by the end of their first year. Before they spawn, a winter chill period is necessary for proper egg development. The fish spawn is triggered by the increasing daylight hours and water temperatures in the spring. At this time, males can easily be distinguished from females. With light pressure, males will freely flow milt or semen. Females will have a distended abdomen, and the urogenital pore will be swollen and reddish. Several methods can be used to spawn perch. They can spawn directly in the ponds or be brought into the hatchery for a more controlled spawning. In the hatchery, males and females are stocked together at low densities, only three to 10 fish per tank. With increasing photoperiod and temperature, the fish will naturally deposit and fertilize their egg ribbons in the tank, where they can be easily collected. Each female produces one tube-shaped egg ribbon with 5,000 to 20,000 eggs. The ribbons are generally between two and eight feet long, and in the wild, the eggs are draped over aquatic vegetation. To imitate this, we stretch the egg ribbon across chicken wire or another substrate and keep them submerged in water as they develop. Eggs should be supplied with a constant, gentle water flow to provide oxygen and remove waste products resulting from the incubation process. Take care with this. Too much contact will lead to egg damage. Many eggs die during incubation and turn white, while the matrix that holds the eggs together breaks down. This is expected. However, if you notice a white fungus, egg ribbons can be treated daily with formalin to control the fungus. Eggs hatch within five to 10 days, depending on water temperature. Using a simple dissecting microscope or hand lens, you can see the eyes of the developing embryo a day or two before they hatch. As eggs hatch, small fry, about the size of an eyelash, can be observed swimming for the surface or clinging near the sides of the tank. A volumetric method is used to determine the number of fry available for stocking your pond. Fry can exist on their yolk sac for three days before needing some form of live food. Fry are then stocked into fertilized production ponds where they initially feed on zooplankton. Stocking rates range from 150,000 to 600,000 fry per acre. The young fish must be carefully acclimated to the pond to avoid shock due to sudden changes in temperature or pH. Additionally, protection from direct sunlight reduces stress. Fry will remain in the ponds for four to six weeks before being harvested for feed training. Ponds are fertilized weekly to support production of zooplankton for food.